Hey Warriors, it's Coach Josh, and we are going to crush a uh, fast and powerful leg workout today. And uh, we've got some good stuff for you. We've got some speed squats, we've got some AMRAPs, uh, we've got lots of posterior chain training. We're going to build up the legs, quads, hamstrings, glutes, abs, all of those good things. And uh, I just wanted to cover a little bit in a little bit of detail about what we're doing and why. And so you'll notice, I was talking about this yesterday, but as we go through these, uh, these weeks, like some movements repeat themselves quite a bit so we can get that repetition and that practice. And that practice is what allows us to build strength and muscle and create that groove in the nervous system, that time under tension and build those muscles in the arms and the legs. So we're, we're, we're getting that repetition, that practice, and we're just being careful and mindful about the variables that we're using to, uh, to, to improve our performance. So today we're gonna work with speed and then volume as we do our speed squats and our, uh, and our AMRAPs today. So uh, we're gonna do a lot of legs. So we wanna loosen up the, uh, the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, the low back, and we're gonna do that um, first by doing some stretches, then some corrective exercises to repattern our hip extension and our, um, you know, our, our hinge and our squat. And then we're going to warm up those movement patterns. I'm gonna put on some music so I don't get uh, too uh, bored or lose my, lose my momentum. All right, so I'm on the ground. So we're gonna use an isometric contraction to stretch that quad. So I'm gonna squeeze my glute, push my shoelaces of the of back foot into the floor, tuck that pelvis, push down for five, four, three, two, one, Big breath, and then I'm gonna stretch forward, really pulling open that hip. Then I'm gonna switch it up. Same thing with the other side. Shoelaces pushing the floor on the back side. Glutes on, tilting that pelvis, pushing down with my lead leg, driving into the floor. Push it down for five, four, three, two, one. Big breath. Open up that hip, whew. A little tight on this right side. That's okay. We're gonna do some more work to open up those hips and get loosed. I'm gonna start off with a, uh, a bird dog. And uh, I'm gonna demonstrate the flat spine position that we really wanna have here. So I'm at an angle to the camera so you can see. I don't wanna be arched. I don't want to be uh, uh, rounded out. I want to be flat. Rib cage is pulled in. I'm pushing out through my belly. And then here, kicking out. And I'm just doing my legs so I can concentrate on keeping tight through the upper body too. and not moving those hips too much. Now that I'm getting good at that, on the third one, I'm going to go out with the hand, each side. One more. Excellent. So, what we've done is with the with that uh, dead bug or sorry the bird dog position, we've practice lengthening the spine as we move the hips and the legs. And that's gonna help us in a second when we start to squat. And so will breathing. So we're gonna practice some braced breathing here for a second. And I'm gonna take five big breaths and I'm gonna take my thumbs into my belly button, just out to the side of the belly button and push up and in. And I'm just gonna really remind my obliques to, to turn on when I'm breathing. So I'm inhaling through the nose, pushing out into my thumbs exhaling through my mouth, also pushing out. So I'm breathing in, I'm pushing out. When I'm breathing out, 
I'm pushing out. So I'm gonna continue to go back and forth between those two. One more big breath. So practice keeping that breath on. And now I'm gonna do the same thing when I'm doing my squats and, and deadlifts to warm up my, uh, my, lower, my lower body. So I'm gonna grab my weight and then I'm gonna push out against my belly and then I'm gonna hinge out, butt comes back, driving my butt forward and as I breathe, I'm continually flexing those abs just like I was doing with my thumbs in there. And I'm gonna come into the front rack squat position, heels shoulder width apart, pushing out on the belly, pulling myself down into the floor Driving up, again, belly's tight the whole time. <laughs> three reps. So we're gonna do three sets of three of each of these hinge, hinge drill and squats. One. Two. Three. One. Two, three, coming back. One, two, three. Last warm up set here. One, two, three. Yeah, all right. So, did some squats, some deadlifts, some hinges. Now, I wanna help this, my hips and low back out a little bit more. So, we're gonna do some lateral fiber of the glute exercises. And I'll show you how we do these. My, my favorite and yours, seven way hips. Toes gonna point down. So my feet will stay at least, a, my, the top foot stays at least a foot off the ground, keeping it lined up the bottom foot. We're gonna do 10 reps here. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10 reps here, front to the center. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now I'm gonna go all the way through. One, two, three, four, keeping that toe pointed down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, small circles forward. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, small circles back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Bicycle, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yeah. I can't believe I was gonna squat without doing these. This is so important. All right, again, toe points down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Front to center, seven eight, 
9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Okay. Now that I feel taller, my hips, low back, and butt are on fire. We're ready to rock. We're gonna do four sets. Speed squats, then some uh, dumbbell front squats or goblet squats, depending on what you got available. Let's start off with the speed squat. So as I go through these, you don't wanna drill in poor form. So I'm gripping on the outside of my foot and you know I'm doing it because my leg gently rotates out as the arch of my foot becomes more active. I'm gonna pull myself down and then power up. My goal is to get the five reps as quickly as I can. So it looks like this. Set up, breathing. One, two, three, four, five. Once I'm done with those, I immediately go into my goblet squat. And I'm suggesting eight reps, depending on how much weight you have available. You could do more or less. Now I'm not doing this one as fast. I'm controlling down, powering out, breathing the whole time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really trying to crack that walnut on the way up. So, five speed squats, eight dumbbell squats. And if you have heavy weight, good. If you have lightweight, add some reps in so that you get some of that challenge and some of that burn. So you're gonna rest about 45 seconds to a, uh, to a minute, depending on how heavy you were going. I'm gonna go again, cause I'm just getting warmed up. And I'm gonna use a little light weight for my squat. Again, squeezing that dumbbell, belly's tight, foot position is good. Squeezing the earth with my feet, rib cage down. One, two, three, four, five. Five speed squats, followed by eight dumbbell squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now heart rate's getting up. So you got your five speed squats and then your eight to 12 regular squats. Two seconds down, 1,000, 2,000, power up out of that hole. Trying to crack that walnut in your butt cheeks. We're coming up on the third round. So, I'm lucky I've got a bunch of weights here to choose from. So I'm gonna stick with a lightweight for my speed squats. Then I'm gonna get a heavier weight for my goblet squat. 
see if I can't do some damage. All right. Set three. One, two, three, four, five. Five reps of the speed squat. Dumbbell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice, getting warmer on that. So, speed, strength, rest. Let that nervous system recover. That was three rounds. Coming up around four. This is where it gets really fun. Because it's your chance to test yourself on your AMRAP. A couple weeks ago we did one of these and uh, it was uh, enlightening, inspiring, challenging, all those things. I think I did 30 reps. I don't know what I'm gonna get with the 70, but we'll try that out. So I'm gonna go ahead, take a breath, and then I'm gonna do my last set. So I'm gonna do five speed squats, then I'm going to do as many reps as I can of that dumbbell squat. So, see what you can get away with. Speed, precision, quality. One, two, three, four, five. Then, the AMRAP. And, one, two, breathing, three, Four, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Pressure on the outside of the foot. Eight, nineteen, forty, one. 22, 23, 24, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah! reps again for me. trick. We're going to do reverse lunges and the hip thrust. So hip thrust. It's a glute bridge 
with a little dumbbell on it. So I'm gonna be here, squeezing my glutes. Feet are flat on the ground, driving my butt into the air. And three. You wanna just crack that walnut in the butt cheeks. Uh, four, five. The hardest thing about this, six, is keeping that pressure in your glutes, not your low back. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten reps there. Then you're going to do the reverse lunge. And you're going to do 12 reps per side. And you're going to do all the reps from one side of the body first. So I'm here. I've got my weight in my hand. And the pressure is going to be in my left leg first. It means my right leg is going to come back. Two. Three. I'm letting my chest come forward a little bit. Four. So my pressure can stay in that lead leg. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. To the other side. One. Dang delays. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So A lot of leg volume. We're really focusing our attention on the back of the legs. So we're gonna do it again. Take the dumbbell, place it on the bones of the hip. Feet are flat. One, two. If you're like me, three. And this is challenging. Four to get good hip extension. Five, six, and you need it the most. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Huh. 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 Back to the reverse lunges. Again, I started with my left last time, so I'm gonna stick with that order so they get the same amount of rest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Whew. Whew. That was two. Round three coming up. So, we 
water. Don't forget to hydrate. Hip thrust. <clears throat> Dumbbell hip thrust from the floor. Put your mind in your butt now so you can get more recruitment from those glutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up, Josh. Eight, nine, 10. <clears throat> All right, left leg first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, come on Josh, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh. That was round three. We're coming up on our final round. So that's important to take stock of what feels hard, what feels easy. If you have the larger dumbbell, or if you don't have any dumbbells, could you go slower on your hip thrust or your bridge from the floor? Could you be, go slower on your lunges? What could you get away with? I'm gonna go up and wait just a little bit for my last round to see if my technique holds up and make sure I'm walking the walk. Okay, back up the ground, coming back in, hip, got my dumbbell on the hip, and then driving up, feet about 12 inches apart, squeeze, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, time to finish strong. All right, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Woo -hoo. Fun. So, 
while your heart rate's coming down. Get ready for the hamstring curl and the calf raise. So the single leg hamstring curl is what we're doing today. So the last time we did this, I had a big discrepancy from my left and my right hamstring. So I'm starting with a left hamstring today, and then I'm going to try and match it with my right hamstring, see how it goes. So we'll try it out. I'm on my back. One foot in the air. One, two, three, not too bad. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, Josh. Ten. Okay, I'll try to match that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ugh. Okay, that was hard, but I had a lot more symmetry today in terms of output. Oh, see how that translates. Calf raises. So we're gonna do 15 of them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna rock from the heel to the toe. On my heel, rocking back, we we'll rock forward all the way up to the tippy top. Ball pressure on the ball of the big toe, meaning the inside of the foot. So fast up, slow down. Four, five, all the way up, six. I'm doing it with no weight, seven. Because a lot of times, you have a bunch of weight on eight. You can't really get to the top. Nine, 10. There's a lot of concentration of balance. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, so if you have weight, try it with a little bit of weight on the next round. If you don't, it's still really beneficial for those calves controlling the ankle and the foot position. All right, that was round one. We got three more rounds. Three more rounds. Weak leg first, left foot first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right. One, two, no, that didn't count. Three, I almost lost my shoe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Get there, just ten. Whew. Ha. Got some weights. Rocking back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, slow down, 13, fast up, 
14, 15. All right. Feeling that my feet gonna cramp. Great. That was round two. Coming up around three. Phrases. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Okay. Last set. So I really like these exercises. These small joint exercises, ankle, knees, that we're working on that protect the hip, low back, and ankle from injury. So put your mind in every rep and see if you can maintain control. I noticed for me, I was kicking up my legs, kind of losing a little bit of control here. On this final round, I'm gonna try and be very mindful and intentional with every movement. Last set. All right, on my back. One, two, three, four, five. Trying to exhale on the way up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Really burning those legs. Back to control. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, we did those leg drills. Now it's time to focus on the abs for a quick ab round. We're gonna do some dead bugs to practice the hip position that we're gonna need during our, our plank arm lifts. And then we're gonna do some toe touches just to burn them up, burn up those abs a little bit more. Sort of doing a dead bug on my back. Reaching out, keeping that spine flat, rib cage depressed, lengthening the tissue of my pec and lat on the high side, and then releasing those hip flexors on the low side, but only if I'm being present through my exercises and keeping that abdominal tension and decoupling those movements. From there, we're gonna do the same kind of principle, but we're gonna do it with the uh, arm and leg lifts in the plank. So spine flat and long, breathing the whole time, core tight. Let's see how it looks. So I'm gonna go one, breathing out, two. I'm sorry, this is all one. That was one, two, 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 two. two. Three, 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 four, four, five, sorry, four, five, 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 ha ha ha, five. Back over. Toe touch. One, two, Three, try, touch those toes, four. Knees are at a 45, seven, eight, nine, 10. Whew. That was one round, we got two more to go. So, a lot about how to control the spine while you're training. Keeping that shoulder safe, hips safe, everything safe. I'm gonna concentrate on those legs. That's three, four, four, five, five. Whew. Around the world. One, one, one. I gotta keep counting, otherwise I lose it. Two, 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 three, 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 four, four, five, four, five, five. Five, five. Toe touches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was round two. So, we have one more circuit to go on the abs. Then we're gonna do our dessert, our homework. Huh. Huh. 
Steering wheel. One. Can't get all the way down anymore and control it. So I'm focused. I'm going as far as I can go. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. All right, back to those leg lifts. One, 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 two, 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 three, 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 three. Four, 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 five, 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 five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Oh. Oh. All right, friends and warriors. It's time for dessert. Get some water, get some rest, and then go right into dessert when you have the strength. And that is knee grabs, T push ups, and some squats. <laughs> knee grabs. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten push ups. Just ten little push ups. That's all we got. You can always do ten push ups. One. Two, three, feet apart, four, to the sky, five, never tired, six, never quit, always win, as long as you don't quit, nine, ten, yeah. Squat with hamstring bias. Here we are. Dropping down. Gripping the inside of the shoe. Butt down. Chest up. Inhale as you reach up. Chin to chest. One. Two. Three, don't be in a hurry, Josh. You're not tired. Four. Ah. All right, warriors. You gotta get the reps in. You gotta vote for the habits. You gotta get from as much as you can, not, not get through the training. I got my reps in today, I got from the training. I learned a lot about patience, endurance, and how to continually vote to bring forth the warrior within. Brendan Fraser is a treasure. Is a treasure. <laughs>